Welcome to Jibble, your all-in-one solution to seamless time tracking and employee management. Managing time off for teams can get messy when you're trying to find leave requests lost between chat threads, chasing down manual approvals, and keeping track of who's off and when. Jibble's time off feature makes managing leave simple, clear, and centralized. Whether it's vacation days or sick leave, everything is requested, tracked, and approved in one place to ensure accurate payroll calculations. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about Jibble's time off management feature, from requesting and approving leave to setting up custom policies that match your team's workflow. The first step to an organized time off system is creating custom time off policies configured to your needs. Navigating to the Time Off Policies tab will give you an overview of existing policies and their details. Click on the Add Time Off Policy button to create a new custom policy. Start by naming the Time Off Policy and assigning specific members if required, or leaving it blank to make it accessible to the entire organization by default. Next, select between a paid or unpaid time off. Paid time off will be calculated towards payroll hours, while unpaid time off will not be billable. For both types of time off, you can set a time off unit in days or hours and choose to exclude public holidays and non-working days based on the member's assigned calendar and work schedule. If you select paid time off, you can set how leave is earned using accrual policies. There are three options to choose from. The first option is having no accrual schedule, where a fixed number of leave days is granted upfront for the whole year based on the calendar year. The second option is an annual accrual schedule, where leave is earned once a year, either on a custom date or based on the employee's join date. Leave entitlements will be prorated and a waiting period can be set before leaves are fully granted. The third option is a monthly accrual schedule, where leave is earned each month. Similar to annual, you can base it on a custom date or join date and choose whether it's granted at the start or end of the month. A waiting period can also be set if needed. For all paid time off, you can also enable balance rules if you want to allow unused leave to be carried over to the next cycle. Simply set the maximum amount of leave that can be carried forward and how long it's valid before expiring. Once your time off policy has been created, it will appear in the list where you can manage all active policies. You can edit policies at any time by clicking on the pencil icon. If you wish to archive any existing policies, Hover over the specific policy and click on the archive icon. All archived policies can still be accessed at the bottom of the screen, where you can restore them back as an active policy if needed. When it comes to approving time off requests, you can stick with a single level approval flow or try something more advanced. Multi-level approvals makes it easy for large teams to set up structured tiered approval flows and ensure every request is reviewed by the right people. To enable and set it up, Click on the Approval Settings button and configure the general settings that will be applied to all active time off policies. You can add up to three approval levels and assign each level to an approver. You can select roles like managers, admins, and owners, which will allow all employees assigned to that specific role to approve the leave request. Normal members do not have permissions to become approvers. If you only require a specific individual to review requests, you can assign individual approvers and select their names. It's important to note that once a role or a specific individual is selected for an approval level, they cannot be selected as approvers for the other levels. For more flexibility, you can customize multi-level approval settings per policy. Simply edit a time off policy and scroll to the multi-levels approval section. You can choose to keep the default approval flow or uncheck the box to set up a custom one specifically for that policy. It's important to note that general approval settings must be enabled first before custom settings per policy can be configured. For admins and managers, individual permissions involving multi-level approvals are configurable based on what each person requires. With your time off policies and approval workflows all set up, it's time to review leave requests from your members. All current requests will be displayed in the Time Off Overview tab where you can approve or reject them all in one place. Here, you can select a date range, search up specific members to see all time off they've requested, and filter requests based on policy, groups, positions, and even statuses. The status of time off requests have four main states, which include pending, approved, rejected, or cancelled. 
To start reviewing a timeout request, click into a pending request to check on its details. These details include the member, the time off policy, the selected date and duration, additional notes, and any attachments used as supporting documents. If you need to edit a request before taking further action, click on the pencil icon and change any necessary details such as duration of the leave, notes, and attachments. The member and selected policy cannot be changed when editing, and only pending requests can be edited. Once a request details have been reviewed, you can start approving or rejecting them seamlessly. Click into a pending request and select either the approve or reject button. You can also approve or reject requests directly from the overview by clicking on the green or red buttons respectively. If multi-level approval settings have been enabled for the requested time off policy, the request pending status will display the number of levels in the approval workflow via a progress tracker. The request will need to be approved by each design role or individual at different steps of the approval process. Once a level of the workflow has been approved, the progress tracker will update to show the current status out of the total number of levels. After passing the final approval level, the request status will update to approved. Rejecting a request at any of the levels will automatically update the time of request status to rejected. As an owner or an admin with the appropriate permissions, you have the ability to override all approval levels and bypass the workflow to fully approve or reject the request. Once an action has been taken on a request with multi-level approvals, click on the approval history icon to view a summary of past actions taken by approvers of the workflow. You can choose to cancel an already approved request by clicking on the X icon. Once cancelled, the action is not reversible. If you'd like to take action on multiple requests for quick and easy approvals, you can bulk select ones with identical actions or those in a similar status to approve, reject, or cancel requests all at once. You can also add time off requests on behalf of a team member by clicking on the Add Time Off button and entering the necessary details. This is especially useful if you need to quickly log leave for someone who's unavailable or forgot to submit it themselves. For internal record keeping and analysis, you can easily generate a time of request report by clicking on the export button. Choose to include individual tabs for time of requests per member, select the date range, and apply your preferred filters. As employees are assigned to various policies and start requesting leave, the leave balance tab gives you a clear overview of each member's assigned time off policies. Each policy is displayed in a table, followed by a few columns that show specific details, such as carry over leaf from the previous cycle, the total entitled leaf, manual amendments that have been added or deducted by managers for the current cycle, amounts of leaf already taken, and the remaining amount of leaf balance. You can filter employees based on groups and positions, while leaf policies can be filtered based on active and archived status. To make amendments to leaf balances, Select the member you would like to make adjustments for. Then, hover over the specific leaf policy you want to update and click on the pencil icon. Add or deduct the leaf balance as needed and input a reason for change if any. Each leaf policy also has its own leaf balance history that can be accessed to view a detailed summary of balance changes. For clearer visibility on remaining leaf entitlements for members, you can generate a time off balance report that can be filtered and include individual tabs for leaf balance per member. Aside from the Jibble web app, Jibble's mobile app also gives you access to time off features that make it perfect for managing Leaf on the go. Both platforms can be used interchangeably as they sync in real time for seamless time off management. As an owner, admin, or manager, you can navigate to the time off page to check on an overview of Leaf requests from your team and approve or reject them with a simple swipe. You can also add time off on behalf of members easily and view leaf balances for each member. To stay on top of leaf activity from members and never miss a single request, you can enable time off notifications on both the web and mobile app. On the web app, you can navigate to your account settings and enable email notifications to be alerted every time a member adds or cancels a time off request. Owners and admins can configure between time of request from all members in the organization or only requests from managed members. Managers can enable this notification to be notified on time of requests from managed members only. They can also be notified on any actions taken on their own time of request. On the mobile app, push notifications can be enabled via your device's settings to receive similar alerts. 
when a time off is approved, it's automatically reflected across different places on the web app. On the dashboard, you'll see upcoming leave listed in the upcoming holidays and time off widget, so you can stay informed about who's away. On the Timesheets tab with a weekly overview, approved leave will be clearly indicated with a grey banner and the specific policy name across the time off duration. On a monthly overview, time off will be indicated with a luggage icon. If you're a member and want to learn more about managing your own time off, check out our dedicated member walkthrough video in the description below. And that's it! You're all set to start managing Leaf the easy way with Jibble. Whether you're an admin, manager, or team member that's using the web app or mobile app, Jibble makes managing time off simple, transparent, and effortless. If you have any doubts or questions, have a read through our help center or reach out to our support team for further assistance. Happy Jibbling!